That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Good morning, Eagles, and welcome to school. Today is Monday, February 27th. Let's start the week with the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand. Put your hand over the, your heart. Repeat after me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, and unity of justice for all. Thank you, Miss Rogers' class. Awesome job. Let's see what's happening at Armstrong this week. What a great week it's going to be. Let's check in with fourth grade for the weather. This is what the weather looked like, like last week. Monday, February 27th, it's going to be snowy, 36 degrees and 70% chance of rain. Tuesday, February 28th, it's going to be p.m. shower snow showers 35 degrees and 50 percent chance of rain wednesday march 1st is going to be sunny and 36 degrees and zero percent chance of rain on thursday march 2nd mostly sunny and 41 degrees and zero percent chance of rain friday march 3rd mostly sunny and going to be 47 degrees and zero percent chance of rain Thanks for the update on the weather. Looks like we still need those jackets. Now it's time for the weekly whip around. I was scared of dentists and the dark. I was scared of pretty girls and starting conversations. Oh. Assistant in their dream. Oh.
I swear she's destined for the screen Closest thing to Michelle Pfeiffer that you've ever seen Oh, lady Wow, awesome stuff, Eagles. Let's hear from our latest Reading Blast Off readers. I, I read the Geronimo Stilton series. I liked it because of all the funny mouse buttons and how Geronimo was afraid of so many things like traveling and cats. You should read the series because of all the funny misadventures. Series. I think you should read this book because it is very magical and fantastic. I like the part where Harry got accused of stealing from Professor Snape's stores. This is why I think you should read this book series. Reading is always cool. Today a reader, tomorrow a leader. We received a letter from Lem. Let's see how he is doing. <laughs> Armstrong, we got another letter from Lem. It says, Dear Eagles, it is I, Lem. I liked your letter so much that I thought I would write one back to you. After a lovely stay at home, I took your advice and headed to Yellowstone National Park. What an adventure. First, I met some of my extended family and decided to try hibernating. It was a thrilling experience sleeping with all my cousins in a burrow. We woke up every few days to eat and warm ourselves up. Next, we scurried around to the back of the big tree where my cousins had their winter reserves. It was fun making tracks in the snow on our way to the feast. Then my cousins and I walked through the forest to see who else was awake. One day we saw a moose, a fox, and a bison. Boy, were they big. I loved putting my paws in the hot springs. Finally, it was time for me to say goodbye. I will miss my cousins, but I'll never forget the memories. It is like how I will never forget the friends and fun I had at Armstrong. Well, take care, my friends. I'll write again soon. Love, Lem. P.S. I enclosed a few more pictures I thought you might like to see. Here's his first picture from Yellowstone. A picture of Lem. His paw prints in the snow. and two of his hibernating cousins, Orion and Astrid. Thanks, Lem. You seem to be having some grand adventures. It's a close race for February's greatest grade competition. There's still plenty of time to earn some points for the win. That's it for us. Thanks for watching. This is ABC News. <laughs>